Hello everyone, it's me Julie and in this tutorial I will be covering the basics of installing the Windows 3.1 and DOS into a virtual machine. Why DOS? Well, Windows 3.1 was not introduced as a standalone operating system. It was sort of a patch to DOS. Or in one word, Windows without DOS could not run. Uh, so for this tutorial I'm going to be needing DOS and Windows 3.1. DOS and Windows 3.1 will be inside a package compressed package downloadable in the description there might be a link down there search for it with Mediafire so uh, let's go you're gonna be needing a virtual box or a virtual machine doesn't matter but I'm using virtual box it is a bit smaller and easier to use double click on virtual box it will open now hit on new to create a new operating system hit next name let's just say Windows and DOS. As you can see, operating system type, operating system other version DOS. Next. Let's make it 128. 8. Next. Create new hard disk. Next. VDI. Next. Fixed size. Next. Why well, is a bit big for a DOS? Is that a 32? And hit next and create create and Windows and DOS is not created DOS 7.1 is an IMG file what does it mean? that means that it is a floppy disk image so instead of using only a CD-ROM controller we need to add a new floppy controller so it unplugs down here and add new floppy controller and new attachment to the storage tree so leave empty and ok I've unzipped DOS it's down here so now I'm going to start the computer or the virtual box let's say why is this? ok go to devices floppy devices and choose a virtual floppy disk file you you won't be having those. There are two DOS, uh, disk one and disk two. We're gonna be using only disk one. So select DOS seven point one, disk one, and hit open. And machine, reset. And it's starting. Now hit on next. Okay, next next I agree next continue create a 32 16 12 primary partition reboot now oh, ho, ho. okay so from the beginning okay machine reset again it gets bad sometimes but sometimes it gets good it gets good so don't worry Okay, please wait where our setup initializes. Next, next, next. This time we did the partition, so it skipped this time. Yes. Next. Yes. DOS commands only. Next. Okay. It installed. Okay, can continue. Oh, no, no, no MS DOS. No MS DOS add ons. Sorry. I'm the type of guy who just like only dun 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 dun. Next, next, next. Yes. I hit yes at that time. I don't know. Yeah, why not? Mm, yes. No. Enable UMB memory. Load both. Leave them as default. Net continue. US. Continue. And uh, this program is free software under GNU GPL. Yay! Now it okay. Choose them as DOS 7.1. You must restart your system. 
Please remove the disk in the drive before reboot. Okay, go to devices, floppy, boom, and um, yes. And it started. Yeah. Fuck. Mouse problems everywhere. Of course. DOS. What do you expect? Yes, it now opened. Now, uh, Windows 3.1 is a ISO image, but it's a uh, it's not a DVD IMG. It's a CD-ROM IMG. So you go to devices, CD DVD devices, and uh, choose your virtual CD DVD disk file. Hit Windows 3.1. Hit open. Now the disk, the CD-ROM drive for MS DOS is D. So type under when it's C here. C space big D capital D column and backslash and we're on D drive which is the CD ROM drive and type setup.exe now we are inside Windows setup hit next enter set up copying files just like Windows XP Yeah, we weren't gonna set up. Name the Julie. Continue. Installing. Okay, Windows has finished installing. Okay, now we're under the printer installation menu. I have no printer attached, so it cancel. Exit setup. Cancel. And now we are in. Uh, okay, it's still doing that process. Skip drill. It's not set up, so we want to go to devices. CD DVD devices and remove remove Windows 3.1 and yeah, you can hit reboot now. Reboot. Oh, damn it. Now when you open MS DOS to go to Windows you type win. And the Windows it's open. Yay! There we go, Windows 3.1. Nostalgia. Let's <laughs> make this big. This big. Big, my dear. We got everything. We got. Um. Yes. Close. We got games. Solitaire. Um. Never knew how to play this game. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, we got free space. Yeah, can't place anything there. So that's it, folks. Windows Super Mode is now successfully installed. Everything will be provided in the download below. There will be a link to download below. Both the files, DOS and Windows, will be down there to download in the compressed package. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Hope it worked. For any questions or anything else, just ask in the comments. Comment. Do command for asking. So that's it. Peace.